in the state of Oregon, you're allowed to legally gamble, sports gamble. There's one sports book, which is DraftKings. It's the only one allowed in Oregon. I am going to be going to Oregon. I already downloaded the DraftKings app. This is like a free ad press for them. Free ad, right? And I was mm. like, are they going to give me odds for the world championships? And lo and behold, they are. First thing they released were the 100-meter odds. Got Curly minus 125. Jacobs, surprisingly, plus 350. Bromel, plus 400. Fraser Price, the odds favorite, minus 125 on the women's side. Thompson Hraw, plus 100. Sharika Jackson, plus 550. Coleman, plus 650. Mm. So good odds. But it's only for winter. And I'm going to be there, man. I'm going to be there with this app, eligible to gamble on all 49 events. So I put up a poll. And I asked people, how much should I gamble? Because we're going to do it. We're going to do it, Kevin. We're going to go all in again. Uh, mm. Click on one of the Colt, click on one of the uh, choices to see all of your money. what the odds are saying. And this is what the odds are saying. So 16% say I should just... Gamble a dollar per event, 49 bucks. 17%, a hundred bucks per event. 31%, 10 bucks per event. But 34% yeah. saying I need to go $204 per event for a grand total of $10,000 next week. I, I don't think they're thinking of your best interests there, Gordon. I think they want to see you suffer. You got 10K to lose, Gordon? Why not? We'll see what happens. You I'll, really, I'll hold on. Get... You're actually considering this? Maybe, yeah. Why not? Maybe not ten thousand. Maybe I should, I put that on there as like kind of a red herring. I didn't think people would click on it, <laughs> but I did gamble like forty five hundred for the Olympics. So, Cole, how much do you think you should bet? Uh, less than my net worth, and two of these are above it. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, but how much do you want to see Gordon gamble? Not you. In the chat, how much should I gamble in the chat? What's the chat saying? The what, chat should I, what should I go see. for? Uh, MR says do one forty nine team parlay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm not going for that. I'm not gonna go forty nine for forty nine. I don't. I'm think think. Uh, are all the odds eventually going to be posted? Is that their goal, or are they just going to? I mean, select. Events? I feel like they are because I just looked and. DraftKings has like the hammer throw, high jump, shot put. There's like wait, all stuff, hold on. So. Do they have the men's eight hundred? There's no way they actually have the men's eight hundred up there. <laughs> I don't know what well, they would put for the men's eight hundred. <laughs> well, that's why I'm excited for the men's eight hundred because I'm gonna go all in on a certain person whose last name is uh the same sound for moolah. I mean, same sound for money, moolah. So that'll be fun. Yeah, uh, I just, yeah, they got. I think a lot of the things are slowly populating. They have a bunch of field events stuff up. Um, like long jump, okay. full vault, hundred hurdles, high hurdles. They don't have the eight hundred most... yet, but I'm. I think eventually they will. It's later in the meet, so they're probably doing like the stuff that's starts yeah, early, early on. before the other stuff. Yeah. Here's my issue with all these. They have one or two that are just way out there that are just completely off. Like that Jacobs line is totally off. Yeah, and then on the hundred, they also have what's Bracy. 66 to one or something like that something insane yeah. that's way off too so you see those and you're thinking okay i'm smarter than them i can win some money but the top line numbers are realistic and that's really what matters because you're really talking about you can only get this right one way unless there's some stranger prop bets that are out there but it's winners is what you're looking at so yeah you're not going to get any points for Oh yeah, I I put money on Bracy and and he got silver, but and he was plus what is he? What's Bracy right now on the? Has he has it changed? Sixty six hundred to like sixty six to one. Yeah, that's which is insane. Which is insane. Yeah. <laughs> he should he's he should be much lower than that. His odds should be better than Jacobs, don't you? Based on the oh season? yeah, thousand yeah. percent. The fact that Jacobs is two yeah. is the most stupid odds out there. Yeah, but again, most, that doesn't yeah. matter. That doesn't matter right unless uh that person ends up winning so but that's where they kind of, they pull you in on that stuff the jacobs yeah. line is bait for sure for people that don't watch track and field and just saw like the olympics last time right exactly yeah that's for the people who are like oh the olympic champion yeah he's 
He's plus three fifty. I'll go with the Olympic champion for plus three fifty. So yeah, that's a, it's bait. Yeah. Classic. Bet. Okay, our boy, your boy, Oblique Seville is plus three thousand, and then my boy, Akeem Blake, is plus nine thousand. So maybe you should put a hundred dollars on Akeem Blake for plus nine thousand. So if you if you lose the bet, you make. Nine thousand bucks, and then use that money to fly me to Jamaica. Yeah. So we can kind of cover our bets for each other. So we should each bet on the other Jamaican, so we can have the mm-hmm. funds to send each other to Jamaica. Thoughts? No, I'm not going to do that. I mean, I <laughs> just again, I think you can run great and get a medal. All right. I'm looking at the chat here. Camp Eagle says Gordon is insane. Ben says fifty pounds an event. Adrian says ten k. David says you should bet what you're comfortable with. Yeah, look uh, at ben that. Ben says bet what you're comfortable with. Bet responsibly. Ben says you you need to go all in on Max Bergen. You donut. I've never heard donut be used as an insult. That's amazing. Uh, an- another Ben. We got two Bens in the chat. Dueling Bens. Track and golf can be easier. Uh, to bet because they give big names great odds even if they're not performing well yeah absolutely that's bait but also you so then who's gonna win though right and in the hundred it's like all right curly is the favorite they have him as the favorite from l second that, that fits uh anthony says is gordon betting again what does he have left to lose the hat on his head <laughs> i'm uh, excited this is i'm so maybe i don't do every maybe i just do one big bet per night Right, so I do ten big bets, ten day meet. All right, and I'll do like. I can't bail you out though, just so you know. If you get stuck in Eugene, and per don't day. have money Maybe for an Uber to get back to the airport. I'm not. I'm not going to be able to provide. It's not real money. You. It's all just in the phone. It's not actually. I'm not actually pulling stop, out cash stop, from my stop. wallet and giving it to them. So like the cash in my wallet stays. It's just yeah. imaginary money on the phone, right? That's how it works. All right, let's let's get into it. Uh, Yassine, one more comment says, "If you don't think Marcel is ready, then you are not up to speed at all." Ooh, Marcel's gonna have. Been... Yeah, there it is. Does he's he know something that we don't? Uh oh, he's not gonna run unless he's ready to medal at least. I mean, is he gonna run then? I don't know. I don't. I don't see it. Marcel Jacobs meddling. All right, I'll be wrong, but he's just scratched a lot this year. 